Today I'm going to talk about forensic tour Paladin coming from a company called Sumari. If you go to Sumari's Paladin website, you will find out there's a Paladin tour software available for downloading. Basically, Paladin tools is a um, Linux-based investigation tool, forensic investigation tool. They have 32-bit, 64-bit version. They also have Edge version and Pro version. You can purchase Paladin Pro 7 USB from website as a $34.95 also you can download it by set price as zero you can download it as free I managed to get the Paladin Pro version USB from his website a couple days ago so today I'm going to show how to install this USB version into your virtual machine and how to use it. First, let me plug it in and show you how to copy the files out and download it into your machine, VM, VM machine, and using the VMware workstation as a tools to create this VM. Let me plug in right now. So I got this prompt. You need to format the disk in Drive G before you can use it. Just ignore it. So after you plug in, you got F drive. For me, I got F drive and G drive. G drive is not formatted yet, so I don't can. But we can ignore it completely. F drive is a drive we're gonna use. There's three different ISO files inside. One is Paladin 7, another two is Edge, and the 64-bit Edge file. You can copy Paladin 7.iso out to your local local disk and then mount it to your virtual machine and boot it from there. For me, I just need to directly open it and boot it from your USB key. Create a new virtual machine. It's a typical one. It's from, let's see, padding 7.iso file. So, system, VMware couldn't detect the operation system, but we know from the website it is Ubuntu version. So, we are, what we're gonna do, we're gonna choose Ubuntu. Make a new folder called Paladin. And change the name to Paladin as well. Actually it's 7 Paladin 7. Um, let's make it a little bit bigger, 60 gig. We need to modify some memory then the CPU to get better performance. I like to use 4 gig RAM, 2 CPU and 2 cores. You don't need a sound card, printer, leave the USB and the Wi Fi network adapter there. Close it. Finish. Power on the virtual machine. If you 
need any output options in change the language some key map different mode and you can get into the command line mode let's give it a reboot again leave it untouch it The console will show all booting processes. It probably take two or three minutes to get in. If you copy the ISO file on a local drive, it should be much faster. Now we get into the GUI now. There's a couple options here. You can change the um, resolutions of your display. Make your screen much bigger. There's all bunch tools here. You can use it, but at this moment, you can leave it there next video we're going to show you how to do some basic imaging basic investigation skills so right now you can just quickly browse the menus and see what's going on there Classic tools folder here. Firefox. Let's take a look at those tools. Shut it down. <laughs> 